Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk to you about the Atom ID and how to install Atom ID and how to run it for with a C and C++ compiler. So basically what I am going to tell you about in this video is how to make a Atom ID compatible with C, C, C++ programs and how to run C, C++ programs in Atom ID. So first of all we will start from a scratch, we will open Firefox and download Atom ID. So we will type google.co.in and type atom.io in it. So first link that will open, we will open it and download it for our operating system. I have all already downloaded the setup so I will directly install it. So Atom ID is, is uh, provided by GitHub. It is basically a hackable ID uh, with different types of plugin. You can also install Sublime Text but uh, the GUI part of Atom ID is uh, good, uh, is better than Sublime Text. So I will pause the video and come back when the installation is done. So here the Atom ID has been installed. So as you can look here is the welcome, here are the tabs of the Atom ID as I click through the tabs. Here is the welcome tab, in it it is showing a hackable text editor for the 21st century. You can always read the documentation. I click on yes for to help the improve Atom ID. So now to for running the C or C++ in Atom ID, I need to install a package in Atom ID. So I will open the installer. You can always open the installer from the settings tab or by going to install and then search for the C compiler and then click on package. So it is searching for the package for C compiler. So the first plugin that appears is GPP compiler compile and run C and C++ within Atom. Click on install. So it will install it. So once you are done with the installation and a min GW uh, C C++ compiler you are ready to run a C, C++ program on an Atom ID. It will take some time, a few seconds or a minute to install this package on Atom ID. Let me type out a small uh, program on Atom ID.
This is a basically simple hello world program in which the main function returns zero. I save it in a D drive with the name hello world dot cpp or you can save it with the name C. So I have saved a hello world program. Now the our compiler plugin has also installed. So now we will install min gw. So open www.google.co.in and type min gw. The first link that appears that is www.mingw.org open it. It is a compiler for windows for different languages. So on the right go to download installer. It will redirect you to the source forge website and you will be able to download the installer. I have already downloaded the installer so I will directly run it. So I will now run the setup. It will say install, I will click on install. It will say also install the graphical set support just for me and the start menu and I am create shortcut icon on desktop. I will click on continue. It will take some time to install. I will pause this video and come back when the installation has been finished. So here our installation has been finished for the min gw c c++ compiler. So I will click on continue. It is saying me there is no script engine for file.js. I will click on ok. You don't, you will not get some of you will get this error and some of you will not get this error. Ignore it if you are getting this error. I will click on the last one and mark it as mark for in, in, uh, installation and I will click on this one the GNU C, C, C++ compiler and mark it for installation and then go to installation tab and update apply changes and then click on apply. So now it will take about a minute to install the features. I will pause the video and I will come back when it is done. So here the min gw com c c++ compiler has been completed its installation process. So we will now close it, close the GUI window and we will now open the, we will now close the atom id and reopen the atom id. <coughs> so now we will close all the tabs and we will now open <coughs> our hello world C file. So here There are two ways to run our C program. First is pressing the F5 key.
it is giving me this error so this error is coming because i haven't given the gcc++ min w path in my in my environmental variable so i will give it now so i will go to c drive min dj gw and bin i will copy this path and i will go to right click on my computer properties advanced settings environmental variables in in the down below i will search for the path variable edit it i give it a semicolon and give the path and give it another semicolon click on okay click on okay click on okay now i will reopen the atom id so now i will press f5 on my program so here it says hello world press any key to continue so thank you guys for watching this video if you like my video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions how to install uh, how to run your c c++ programs on atom id please write in comments if you like my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you